Alright, what is going on and welcome back to another video on the channel today. We have got another tier list video and in this one we're going to be ranking every single battle pass going through my favourite and my least favourite battle passes in the game. And just going through all the skins, you know, looking back on all the skins in all these battle passes, all the 200 skins, all the cosmetics that were in these battle passes because we've had some pretty good like skins, you know, 200 skins especially have been amazing and it will be good to look back on some of these and rank them from best to worst in this tier list so before we get into it don't forget to drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into it so you can see the sections as well we've got trash bad average good amazing and god and starting off chapter one season two i'm gonna play on average i think it was a good battle pass obviously we had the royal knight you know like the knight theme it was the black knight an amazing skin obviously there's only 70 tiers in this battle pass because the game was still in early development so in terms of the season, again, it's very nostalgic looking back on it, but in terms of the actual battle pass itself, it was good, but obviously as the seasons went on and the game developed a lot more, they definitely added some more advanced skins with styles and stuff like that, so it was a good battle pass. Again, the Black Knight and the Sparkle Specialist were two amazing skins, but comparing them to the other battle passes on this list, I'm going to put it in the average section. By the way, I don't know why Season 1 is on this list, because there wasn't even a Season 1 battle pass. Uh, on to the next one then, I'm going to go in order by the way, so we've got Season 3, Chapter 1, I'm going to put this one in the good section, I think it was definitely better than Season 2, we saw skins like the Reaper skin which was amazing, pretty much like the B-Tech Chonwick skin now, obviously like the Rust Lord which was a pretty toxic skin back then, but yeah, looking back, again, a very like nostalgic season to look back on, but in terms of the skins, Elite Agent as well was amazing, I really liked that skin, and it was definitely, you know, a good battle pass, and I'm going to put it in the good section there. Next up then, as I mentioned, we're going in order, Chapter 1 is Season 4, we had skins like the Carbide skin, the Omega skin, and this is when they really started to like experiment with different types of skins, adding customizable styles and options. I'm going to put this one in the amazing section. I actually really like this battle pass. As I mentioned, the Omega skin was amazing. Thankfully, I actually did unlock all the styles as well. So I've got like the neon lights, like the green, purple, orange, red. I think that's all the colors anyway. Obviously the Carbide as well, another amazing skin, but the Omega, it, it was just amazing, and it's only right if I put it in the amazing section, it just describes it perfectly, and definitely one of my favourite battle passes on this list. Next up then, we have got Chapter 1, Season 5. Now this was the summer themed season, we had skins like the Drift, the Ragnarok was an amazing skin as well, Sunstrider, like just so many amazing summer themed skins, and to look back on, it was actually a really good battle pass. I think this actually deserves amazing, I'm not going to lie. I think it was an amazing battle pass, especially like the Ragnarok and all the styles that has, and the Drift as well. Like all the Drift styles are amazing. It's definitely on the same category as the Season 4 one, so I'm going to put that one in the amazing section as well. As I mentioned, when ranking these battle passes, we're pretty much only considering the skins in the battle pass, so we're not taking anything else into consideration. It is pretty much just the skins that were included in that seasonal battle pass. On to the next one then, we have got Season 6. Now this was the Halloween themed season, again with the Dire skin, Calamity, the Fable skin, Dusk, you know, so many amazing skins again. And I think it was a really, really good battle pass. As I mentioned, Calamity had some amazing styles, the Dire as well was a good skin. But other than those two, I didn't really like any others, so I'm still going to put it in the good section, because I think it was a good overall battle pass, but I definitely do prefer. Season 4 and Season 5, they were definitely two of my favourite battle passes there. On to the next one then, we have got Chapter 1, Season 7, the Christmas themed season. And in terms of a season, this was definitely one of my favourites, but in terms of an actual battle pass, I mean, we had some good skins like the Ice King with four different styles, the Lynx as well with the different styles, you know, the Onesie skin, Trog, Powder, the like Santa Claus skin as well, the Zenith. There's so many like amazing Christmas themed or winter themed skins I should say and they had some amazing styles as well. In terms of where I'm going to rank this, I definitely prefer season 4 and 5 so it's not going in the amazing section. It could go in the good section and I think that's where I'm going to put it. It is a close one, it could maybe be amazing but for me, in my opinion, it's not quite there. On to the next one then, we have got chapter 1 season 8. Now this was the first season with a female tier 100 skin. And this was probably one of the most simple battle passes we've ever had. I mean, we had the hybrid skin, we had the pirate sort of skin, and obviously the Lux with the 200 skin, which a lot of people didn't like because, like, previously we've had such epic, like, 
boss themed 200 skins like the Ice King, Omega, Ragnarok, the Dire Wolf and then we just had like a 800 V-Buck looking skin that you'd see in the item shop. That is literally what the Lux looks like, just an 800 V-Buck skin. It's kind of like the Aura skin, it's just very simple skin. And in terms of a 200 skin, it was definitely one of the worst ones. It just doesn't compare to any of the other battle passes in my opinion. Even though it did have the Peely skin, which was amazing for the memes. But overall, as a battle pass, definitely one of my least favourite. I'm going to put that one in the bad section. Next up then, we have got Chapter 1, Season 9. Again, this was actually one of the first battle passes that I didn't even purchase. I think Season 9 was probably the season that I played the least. I just didn't really like that season that much, like the futuristic theme. But in terms of the battle pass, I mean, again, it had some good skins like the Rocks, the Vendetta for the 200 skin, the Sentinel skin, which was like the Robot Chicken, you know, Bunker Jonesy, the Demi skin. I mean, there were some pretty good skins in this battle pass. And the Vendetta, I mean, it was good, but I definitely prefer some of the other 200 skins as well. And comparing the overall battle pass, I'm also going to put that one in the bad section. I didn't really like the Season 9 battle pass that much, if I'm being completely honest. And then next up on the list, the final season of Chapter 1, which is Season X. Now, Season X, a lot of people really dislike the season because, obviously, the mechs and all that. But in terms of the Battle Pass, again, a lot of people also disliked it because a lot of the skins were just reskins from previous seasons. So we had, like, the Ultimate Knight for the 200 skin. That was pretty much just a reskin of the Black Knight. We had, like, the Eternal Voyager. Again, pretty much a reskin of the Dark Voyager from the Season 3 Battle Pass. Sparkle Supreme skin, another reskin. X Lord, Catalyst, DJ Yonder, the Tilted Technique. They were all reskins of skins that were already in the game, just like a better version. So a lot of people hated it because of that, but me, personally, I actually really liked the skins. I know the skins in the Battle Pass weren't original because they are just, you know, better versions of skins already in the game. But again, overall though, looking at these skins, they were really good, I actually really liked them, and some of them I still use to this day. Some skins like the Sparkle Supreme skin I think is really underrated, the Catalyst is just such an epic skin as well, and even the Ultimate Knight is just such like an amazing 200 skin as well. And Season X, I'm going to put that one in the good section. It's definitely not amazing or god section, but it definitely was a good battle pass. Now we're going to be moving on to Chapter 2, so obviously the first season in Chapter 2, which was Season 1, and this was quite an interesting one for me. I wasn't a huge fan of this battle pass. We had skins like the Fusion skin, the Ripley, the Fisherman skin, the 8-Ball skin, like the Medic skin as well. For me, I didn't like this battle pass at all. It's going to be the first one to go in the trash section. It's got to be done. This was definitely one of my least favourite battle passes to ever grace this game. I mean, some of the skins were okay. I mean, the 8-Ball skin isn't too bad. The Fusion isn't really the best 200 skin. The Ripley is unique, but I, I'm just not really a huge fan of the overall battle pass. So for me, I'm going to put that one in the bottom section. Next up then on the list, we have got Chapter 2, Season 2. Now, a lot of people did actually like this a lot because like the gold styles. So we had skins like the Midas, Brutus, the Sky skin, the Agent Peely, Tientina, Meow Skulls, obviously the Deadpool secret skin as well. And a lot of those skins did have like amazing gold styles and they were cool but for me again comparing them to some of the other battle passes on this list i'm gonna put it in the average section i think it was just a very average battle pass again i did like the gold styles for skins like the midas and brutus but comparing them to some of the other battle passes like season seven season five season six season you know four like i definitely preferred those a lot more than chapter two season two so i'm gonna put that one in the average section Next up then on the list we have got Chapter 2 Season 3. Uh, by the way, I don't know how many times I've said the word Battle Pass in this video. I probably said that phrase like 100 times. Um, but anyway, moving on, we have got Chapter 2 Season 3, which was like the ocean themed season. I'm going to put it in the average section again. Wasn't a huge fan of it. It's very similar to Season 2 for me. I mean, we had some good skins. Again, Aquaman was cool. The Fade skin was probably my favourite one from that season. And then we had skins like Kit, Jules, Scuba Jonesy, you know, stuff like that. I wasn't really a huge fan of those ones, but I did like the Fade skin a lot. Um, that was definitely my favourite. The Eternal Knight as well was cool. But again, comparing it to some of the other ones, not my favourite. I'm going to put it in the average section. Next up then on the list, we have got Chapter 2 Season 4. Now this one was insane. This was the Marvel themed season. We had some of the most insane skins in Fortnite like Iron Man, Groot, Thor, Wolverine, like just the amazing Marvel themed season. I think this one has to be the first one to go in the God section. 
it's got to be done. Even as a season as well, it was amazing. And then they had just an amazing battle pass to match it. I mean, yeah, some of the skins in that battle pass, even like the styles as well that they had, with like the Mystique, probably one of the most unique skins in this game, where you can eliminate people and transform into those skins. Just everything about this battle pass was amazing. All the Marvel themed skins, especially if you're a Marvel fan, you kind of love this one. My favorite skin was probably the Iron Man skin. I think it's amazing that Iron Man was finally in Fortnite, but some of the other skins, I'm gonna say Mystique, it's just such a unique skin and for me, it is definitely the best battle pass we've had in Fortnite. Some of the skins in there are just absolutely amazing. On to the next one then, we have got Chapter 2 Season 5. I'm gonna get straight to the point and put that one in the good section. There's nothing really bad about this battle pass, but there's also nothing that really stands out to me. I mean, some of the skins we had were like Mandalorian, which was pretty cool, Mancake, which was quite a unique skin, the Menace, which was probably my favourite from that battle pass. I think the Condor was in this battle pass as well, so... Overall, I mean, there were some solid skins in this battle pass, but definitely comparing to some of the others, I, you know, I definitely prefer a lot of the other battle passes on this list, so... I'll keep it in the good section, because I think it's just a good, nice and easy battle pass. Next up then on the list, coming towards the end of the list now, only two more left to go, we have got Chapter 2 Season 6. I'm going to put this one in the average section. I think, for me, it's, it's not my favourite to be honest. I mean, my favourite was definitely the Spire Assassin skin. I think that was good. Uh, I didn't mind the Raz skin either, Agent Jones was good. And then some of the other skins, like the Lara Croft, the Cluck, like the Rebirth Raven, some of the others, I mean, I weren't really a huge fan of those ones. So I'm just going to keep it in the average section there. And then onto the final battle pass on this list, the current season, Chapter 2, Season 7. Now, we've got some amazing skins in this battle pass. Rick Sanchez is a really cool skin. Superman as well is amazing. And then some of the others, I mean, we've got Dr. Sloan, Chimera, we've got the Bunny, the Sunny skin as well, ZYG. I'm going to say it's a good battle pass. I definitely like the Rick Sanchez and the Superman skin. I think the Chimera is a cool skin as well with like all the different styles. There's probably like thousands of different like unique styles you can have with that skin. But overall, looking at this battle pass, I'd say it's just good. Nothing bad about it, nothing amazing about it. So I'm going to put it in the good section there. And that is my tier list complete. So I'm actually going to rearrange every single section. So I'll have them going from best to worst in that section there. So you can see my exact ranking of these battle passes. Also, leave a comment down below as well which battle pass is your favorite like in terms of like the skins because i didn't really take into account the emotes or anything like that i just looked at the battle pass and the skins that were in that battle pass as you can see this is my final list here so my favorite was definitely chapter 2 season 4 and my least favorite chapter 2 season 1 and then in the middle obviously we've got all the other seasons there but yeah comment down below which battle pass had some of your favorite skins and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to drop a like on it if you want to check out a lot of my other tier list videos i've got a playlist on my channel so you can just go to the playlist section on my channel and i've got a playlist with all the tier list videos you can check out i previously ranked like all the seasons so you can check those out um obviously in this one we've ranked all the battle passes and a load more so make sure to check those out thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out